सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टुडे वी हैव मेनी न्यू कमर्स मेनी ऑफ यू मे बी जॉइनिंग द मॉर्निंग सेशन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू सुनील जी शेल वी स्टार्ट जी दीदी ओवर टू जी so um we have been having these morning sessions for a while now and many of them many of us find it very useful in our day to day living uh just to briefly talk a little bit about it maybe we can go to the next slide this uh before we go to the next slide just to mention that in this batch of the morning session batch 7 we are starting with uhv3 the content of uhv3 that is understanding the human being understanding nature and understanding existence comprehensively essentially what it is is most of you or many of you may have been through uhv2 the fdp the five day fdp especially the one that we are doing online now for the last couple of years um this you can consider this as an extension something that is going a little bit more in depth than what had been discussed in uhv2 so with that as base some of it of course will be repetitive in uhv3 some of it you may feel that you have already covered in uhv2 uh, but here we will be going in a little more depth and the other thing that we will be doing is we will be trying to see whatever we have taken up as information in uhv2 and the content here and we will be trying to see it directly within us trying to see it and trying to bring it in our living so when we talk of happiness that we want to be happy in continuity to talk of it is one thing but if it doesn't bring any change in my living if it doesn't increase the moments of happiness in my own living then it becomes almost meaningless it becomes a philosophy to be read about to be informed about but it doesn't have any real significance in my life what can have significance in my life is if i see that i have this you know what i have taken up as information and this is something that i can use practically in my day to day life and use it as a tool to enhance the moments of happiness that i have now when i actually experience the happiness the harmony the calm the comfort within then it makes a difference it is significant for me so this is what we have been doing earlier you can see in this slide it says batch 7 so previous to this we have conducted six batches of what we call practice sessions or exercise 1 and 2 exercise 1 being observing the self by the self and exercise 2 being observing the body by the self so here also in uhv3 we will be going through the content and we will be also incorporating those exercises 
in this content so that whatever we are taking up as information we are also trying to practically see it within us experience it and bring it in our living so this is what uh, this uhv3 is going to be about next slide please sunil ji yeah so just to go over some of the things that uh, to familiarize you with the process and what we are doing so essentially for our own self development this is something that we are doing on a daily basis we are it is helping us to understand things better what we may have learned in the initial uhv workshops that we attended perhaps we may have attended an introductory workshops perhaps we may have attended uhv2 perhaps we may have attended some of the refresher workshops but whatever it may be this will help to take that um exploration a step further to enhance our understanding to bring more clarity in the content and it is also through this that we are able to have more and more resource persons who can develop themselves and who are able to participate in the societal development who is doing these morning sessions this is a voluntary effort which is being done by the resource persons from the uhv team who is the uhv team for instance all the people that you will see connected to this they are all part of the uhv team so i am part of the uhv team sunil ji the, whom you heard is part of the uhv team all the people connected with the technical uh, setup are part of the uhv team many of them are also resource persons who are taking sessions that you may have heard of you know when you attended some of the previous sessions and as you go along you will also be a part of this uhv team or you have the good you know chance to or you have the um, you can be a part of the uhv team so we are conducting these sessions for 2 hours the first session in the morning from 5:30 to 6:30 which is this particular session is in english after that there is another session in hindi from 6:30 to 7:30 am so you have the option of attending either one of these or even both of these as you wish sometimes although we try to cover the same content in the english and the hindi sessions but for instance the questions that come from participants may be varied so the content may vary a little bit here and there but essentially we try to cover the same content in english and hindi um but you are most welcome to attend both sessions and many of us do attend both sessions so far like i have said six batches have been done six batches of mostly we have been doing the exercise 1 and 2 like i said those will also be a part of uhv3 but of course the content will also be there in uhv3 so these previous batches have been approximately 4 months in duration 3 months for the content and in the last one month we 
talk of our own self evaluation our sharing our feedback about what we could get out of the 3 months that we spent with this so essentially we are doing this for our own self development there is uh, no certificate involved in this there is no sort of credits specifically that you are getting so it will be a slightly different um way of conducting this as opposed to say the fdps that were conducted through the aict portal through the aict um setup so this is entirely voluntary it is entirely an informal family type discussion and it is largely for improving our own understanding of whatever we have heard so far whatever we have learned so far now we are trying to understand it practically trying to experience it trying to see it in our own self so being more self aware and trying to bring it in our living if i understand the harmony then there is possibility of me living in harmony if i don't understand the harmony then i will not be able to live in harmony so practically it may not make a whole lot of difference in my life so we are trying to live what we have been um uh, reading about bring it into living practice and this is the hope for everyone who is joining in the morning sessions lot of discussion can be there whatever doubts you may have whatever clarifications you may have all that uh, we will put some time in this one hour in english and in the one hour in hindi so some new content will be covered and some time will be there for discussion raising doubts sharing your experiences and your doubts So all of that is going to happen next slide so in this batch what i already mentioned uhv3 content is what we are going to talk about this uhv3 content is understanding the human being so in the first or in the you know you have to be 2 fdp the five day online workshops or even the face to face workshops we have been through this you know understanding the human being as a coexistence of self and body so the same thing now we will be looking at in a little more depth we also looked at nature and existence now we will do a little more you know extended or comprehensive study of nature and existence yeah next so for routine uhv3 um you know sessions that we conduct on the morning session there is likely to be a prerequisite of having been through or participated in at least one online or face to face uhv2 fdp but for this particular session this is the first time we are doing the content of uhv3 on not the first time in fact it was done once before although it may not have been termed as uhv3 at that time uh but for this time we are waving that um next point please 
you will see that for this time, the only prerequisite that we have been asking for is at least one certificate of participation in any online or face-to-face -face UHV FDP, whether it be introductory, whether it be UHV 1, UHV 2, whatever. So if you have attended even one of these, then you are most welcome to join. And this prerequisite is only for your own um, enhancement of understanding. So if we join without any background, it is harder for us to follow what is being said. Some terms that we have become familiar with through at least you know, the initial introductory workshops, uh, those terms, they may not be understood by us if we are just joining this RAW without any background um, information regarding UHV. So therefore, this prerequisite, it is for our own um, enhancement of learning, for our own clarity. Of course, here we are not providing any certificates. Uh, this is totally voluntary, informal, and no compulsion for this. Yes. So, like I said, you can, you know, attend any language of your preference. If you prefer English, you can join 5.30 to 6.30, attend the English. If you prefer Hindi, you can join the Hindi session from 6.30 to 7.30. But um, you are most welcome to join both sessions and listen to both sessions, if you like. Yes, we have a raised hand. I'll just complete this and then we'll take the questions also. So this is the seventh batch. In one of the previous batches, like I said, UHV3 has been conducted, but at that time it was maybe not termed UHV3. And in other batches, we've been discussing exercise one and exercise two. Those exercises one and two are also a part of this UHV3. So we will be doing that also in this exercise. Yes, next please. So what is this, you know, understanding human being, nature and existence comprehensively? So for our own clarity, for our own verification, for our own exploration, we'll be putting forward the content in the form of proposals, as you have heard before. So in our own living as a human being, as a human being in existence, um, who I am as a reality, as a human being, that I am not just the body, but I am self and body, to be able to see the realities that are connected to me as a human being. To be able to see that when we talk of nature, it is not something different or uh, something that is um, not having any relationship to me. It is a collection of four orders many, many, many units which can be looked at as four orders and as we study them, we see how they are interrelated, how they are interdependent and how they are mutually fulfilling for each other. And what is my role in it? As a human being who is a part of this, what is my participation in this? Am I able to see that this pattern in existence 
is a pattern of coexistence. So all of this uh, we'll be doing in a little more depth. You do have some background of this from the earlier workshops. The same thing, a little more depth we'll be doing here. Yeah, next point, please. So what it means to me when I understand this, when I understand the human being, when I understand the nature, when I understand the ex existence comprehensively, what is my role in this? What is my conduct? What should I be you know, living as? What should be my pattern in living? That we will be looking at in some depth also. Yeah. So with this, you know, what we are trying to do is to trying, we are trying to see in the form of proposals. So some proposals we put before and we try to explore these proposals. We try to see it within us so that we can look at things in the right perspective. Right now, we may be seeing things through our gross eyes. When we see things through the body, through the gross eyes, we may see things as separate from one another. This is a separate unit. I am a separate unit. You are a separate unit. Somebody else is a separate unit. The tree outside is a separate unit. We may be seeing these as units. We don't focus on what is connecting all these units. The space that is in which all these units are submerged, by virtue of which we are all interconnected. So as we keep exploring these proposals, as we keep looking at these basic realities, the basic realities that, you know, when we look at all of this nature that is submerged in space, and in this nature there are units, these units are of material type, they are also of consciousness type. So all of these are submerged in space. So we are trying to explore each of these in a little more depth. So when we talk of consciousness unit, that is the self of the human being. When we talk of one example of the material unit, Example of a material unit is the body of the human being. So as a human being, I am a coexistence of conscious and material unit. So it's looking at all of these in a little more detail, in a little more depth, and then seeing our interconnectedness so that we can have a holistic view of the entire big picture, rather than looking at it through a small, narrow vision of what we can see through the gross eyes. And ultimately to be able to see, you know, how this whole world can be one family. Can it be possible to live as a family, how we live in our own small nuclear families or that immediate what we call blood relatives, can we see our relationship beyond that in a wider and wider perspective? Can we see life, living life as a world family ultimately? How there can be harmony in our living with one another in this existence. And to see, is that the pattern in existence already? 
so if we understand that pattern can we live in that manner yeah next point please this is uh, uhv3 is also one of the courses that has been uh, that is being recommended by the you know for the minor degree by the aict minor degree in uhv if you want to know more about you know what are the other courses this is one of the courses there are others like there is uhv 4 uhv 5 there is health and so many other courses so if you want to know more about them this uh, you can go to this link and uh, check it out the details are there yeah next point please this uhv3 um, course is also available on the swayam portal and the link for that has been given many of you may have already registered for the swayam course um so yes all of what we'll be talking about will also be available at the swayam portal videos about this are also given and the link for that has also been given here yeah so very briefly i'll just go over i won't go through all the list of lectures uh, but essentially the course has been divided into five modules and as we go along we'll be seeing what these modules are just to give a sort of an overview of what it is um in the module 1 that the introduction part we will be looking at you know the course overview the basic aspiration fulfillment of the basic aspiration and you know what is the resolution what is the all encompassing resolution in module 2 we will be understanding you know um the you know what exactly or the depths of the right understanding or knowing as we call and we will also discuss the knower the known and this whole process module 3 we'll be going through understanding the human being like we said in a little more detail and of course with all of these modules we have you'll notice these practice sessions that are interspersed those are the steps from the exercises that we will be doing practically along with them we have been looking at you know the human being in some depth earlier now we will be looking focusing more on the activities of the self in the uhp2 our focus was more on the lower activities of the self here uh, we are shifting focus also to the higher activities of the self and how we can bring our lower activities more and more in line with the higher activities within us then in module 4 we are trying to understand nature and existence so we'll be able to try to see that the pattern of existence is already in the form of coexistence and everything that we are seeing in nature outside is just an unfolding and an expression of that coexistence that we see in these four orders that we have clubbed as four orders so this was about module 4 and in module 5 we will be focusing on our role our participation our conduct understanding our role 
understanding our participation the all you know encompassing resolution and how to live holistically with all of this trying to see the reality within us trying to live with that as the base approximately uh, one lecture we'll try to cover in 2 to 3 days whenever there is a question you have a doubt you can raise your hand we will try to answer as many questions as we can and we'll pass the mic to you if you need to message in the chat box you can also do that um but as far as possible we try to take the raised hands first um but if say you know there is a problem with the connection sometimes you can also post your question on the chat um at the end of every lecture there will be some assignment that we will be putting forward again this is for our own self reflection it is for our own growth we won't be checking on assignments we won't be giving marks or you know all of that essentially it is for our own growth our own learning our own self development so we'll be having those assignments and of course like i said one lecture may take two to three days uh we'll be doing this in a way that so every two to three days you will have the assignment at the end of the lecture but whenever we uh having discussions depending on that or depending on what is being discussed we may think of or we may talk of some point for self reflection on a daily basis also and the last month this would go on for 3 months and then in the last month we'll try to have sharing by the participants by as many of all of us who are willing to share or would like to share yes so this is just briefly about the team but there are many 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 more names to this team this is very briefly the people who are more involved with the morning session yeah next speak we can come to the questions i think there is a poll we'll do that and then while people are answering the poll also maybe in a few minutes we'll take up the questions also <laughs>